everyone. We're back. <laughs> it's Kip and Dave again. Hey, I'm old enough to remember that, you know, probably around midnight, yeah. the TV went to colored bars. Yeah, and yeah. I yeah. think we just experienced that. <laughs> it was like, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? Well, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where Kip and Dave are? I think we lost signal, so we had to pause the video. It actually told us it was pausing, so we had to post that one and uh, come back up live again. So we're back now. We're going to go back where we slept off, so switch that camera around, Dave. All right, we'll switch it around, and we'll right. figure out... Here we go. All right, come on up. Now we're going to try it again, guys. All right, All right you can see this is the XRV lounge. And that right there, Dave, I think you got to focus on. We have four L712 on this puppy. Yes. Quite, quite a few subwoofers. And pan up, you know, the guys need to have some entertainment on the road, so what's better than a 55-inch lounge? That's true. In fact, let me go over. Give him a hand hold the Hold the phone second. Sure. We'll turn that down real quick. Absolutely. Because we got too much noise in here. Oh, yeah. Nausea. Can you open up my porch in two seconds? All right. There we go. That's better. <laughs> That's better. And I can hear you, Kip. So but you're, you're right, Kip. In fact, on the road, we're going to give this one of my favorite shows a plug. Which, uh, the Walking Dead. We watched the whole series on here when one, one these road trips were on. That is. You know, we have watched quite a few series of shows on here, but we can watch uh, DVDs, Blu ray, we can play music. It's got satellite service, so we can watch uh, high def satellite if we want to or on the road. We got our X game box. We got to have that. Got to have that going on. So this is really the, the, the I don't want to say it's the driver's lounge, it's more of an entertainment area, relaxation area for uh, the kicker personnel while we're on the road. And, you know, three quite a few times, I mean, I've been on a few trips, I mean, there's six, eight of them, so... Oh, yeah, we'll pack them in here, and in one of the trips we went on, I'll go ahead and show off this picture, we went to uh, Red Rocks, and a little short story, that right there looked calm. The very next day, we had like eight inches of snow, and we barely got the rig off the mountain. Remember there was that? a ton of snow and a ton of ice. This was the day before, and the next day we got absolutely hammered, but I tell you what, uh, Red Rock Amphitheater up there in Colorado, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. It's if, beautiful. If any of you out there, I mean, obviously we're kicker and we make products to reproduce music. It uh, doesn't matter what, whatever your favorite artist or band is, if you ever get an opportunity to go to the Red Rock Amphitheater and watch them there, it is a true experience. Hey, kid, let's move to the trailer. Let's show them what we do in the back of the trailer. Let's go back. Hey, did you get a photo right behind you, the original kicker? Oh, let me see. Oh, show them that. there it is. All you old timers out there like us, you can know what that is. The original horse that uh, we came out with in uh, a long time ago. 1973. 73. Exactly. Man, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, we had to put it in the rig just for uh You know, 1973, history. I was... I'm not going to say how old I was, but I wasn't as old as I am now. That's true, Kip. You got your, uh, you're losing a little hair, Kip. <laughs> I lost a lot of hair. <laughs> you small the face rubbing it off. All right, Kip, let's show them the, what we have to show okay. people here. Now, this is here. We have to have a little bit of a warning. You know, we take this out. Anyone can come in and experience the boom. We'll show you that here in a little bit. But this is something I have to have on prep. So the owner of the company said, you know, we can uh, have a warning. So if you're pregnant, are you pregnant, Dave? No, I'm not. Okay. No. I gave her about six months ago. So okay, we're good. good. If you have a pacemaker? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Have you had recent eye surgery? Not yet. Not yet. And are you under the age of 18 without uh, your guardian present? What do you think? Uh, no. 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 All right. So basically, if you're pregnant, you have a pacemaker, you have recent eye surgery, we don't want the vibration of the boom room to affect any of those things that you've got going on. And of course, if you're under 18, you can parents say it's good enough to do it. Exactly. So that's into the boom room. But obviously, you step your watch your step full tall. We're going to shut the door a little bit. Pull the door behind me. Yeah, we're going to shut the door so we can show off our, our lights. Okay, so you can see here, Dave, if you get around the, you got to, you can, ah, don't worry about me, you get the product. But basically here in the XRV, it's a rolling showroom to give you a taste of all the different products that we manufacture here at Still Our Designs or Kicker. And so this first panel you're looking at that's kind of got the blue accents going on, this is part of our Q-Class line, showing off our IQ amplifiers, showing off our Q-Class coaxes, our Q-Class components, and our don't have the square in the display right here. You'll see those up in the boom room, but this is our round version, the Comp uh, Q, and this is a 10 inch right here. So this is the blue product line, and then you step down from that into the red product line. Same thing, you can see a sampling of the product, the amplifiers and the speakers right here. Next one down, you get into what we call yellow line. Mr. Uh, Irby right there. Yeah, Mr. Irby right there on a video. You know, our yellow line product, uh, this is our entry-level product for Stillwater Designs. I mean, yellow is where we start on the 12-volt side. Correct. Car. But honestly, our entry-level product is comparable with most companies' mid-level line product or even better. I mean, I would agree. go back down to the woofer real quick. I mean, this woofer right here, 
It's gone through many changes over the years, and it's better today than it's ever been, but this is the woofer that started it all, the original comp woofer. And it's still available, but that original comp woofer, that is our first woofer in our lineup, the original comp. And then when you go from there, you know, you step up into the comp R, which is bigger motor, bigger coil, longer throw, off the, the, the comp Q, uh, and then all the way up to Solaberic L7 or even Q Class L7. Now, Kip, some things that people might not, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, not spend a lot of money or think you're gonna save money, a lot of areas where they skip on is the accessory part, correct? You know, I'm, I'm gonna get on my technical soapbox here for a second. Dave. All right, all right. All right. Here it is, guys. This is wire. Nothing fancy about it. It's just this is good, oxygen-free, solid copper wire that is true spec, meaning true gauge. So if we say it's an 8-gauge wire, it's an 8-gauge wire. If we say it's a 4-gauge wire, it's a 4-gauge wire. Now, one step we do on our wires, it's 100% co uh, copper, but then we do a tin plating over it. Why do we do tin plating, Dave? Why? Because of the heat. Well, partially. It's mainly because of corrosion. The corrosion, too. If any of you out there have put copper in your car in the engine compartment, anything like that, if it's exposed to moisture and water uh, and air, over time it will corrode, turn green, turn black, and it doesn't conduct as the right way as it should anymore. So we tin plate it. That makes it much more durable. Now, the most critical thing I can tell you about wire days, now listen up, this is important. I'll listen, let me get back on you. Okay. There are lots of ways to save money out there, and one of them is to do what's called CCA, or Copper Covered Aluminum Wire. Okay, it'll save you some bucks out of your wallet but it will not save you anything from performance. Uh, if you, for example, we have a demo, and this would be another great thing for us to go on Facebook Live, we could show them the wire demo that we have. We'll do that on another one. We'll do it on another one. But we can actually show you where, for example, our 400 watt K amplifier, which will actually produce 525 to 550 watts. You throw it on a CCA wire, and that amplifier will drop down to high 300s, and if you keep pushing power through it as the wire heats up, it actually starts producing less and less power. Uh, we've got thermal images that show, I mean, there's actually cases where we've seen people burn their cars to the ground using copper-covered aluminum yeah, wire. It's... Don't say, I don't, it, this is going to sound bad, but I don't care if you buy Kicker-branded wire or you don't. Just, when you're looking for wire to hook up your system, always insist on 100% copper wire, always insist on true gauge to get the real performance out of any product, but whether Kip, it's Kicker or not. But you know what? If they get the Kicker wire, they get all that and some. You get all that and some, and then the bonus is, if you happen to be a Kicker fan and you're running Kicker amplifiers, if you go with a Kicker wire kit, we throw another year warranty on top of our that standard is, warranty. That is true. It's because statistically, we look at the warranty's returns. If you use the right wire and hook up that amp to begin with the right way, you have fewer defects, fewer problems with the amplifier because it's not starving for current, and you don't get all those problems with power loss. And Kip, we've got wire, we've got connectors. We've, we've got, got it all. We've got it all to get that system. We've even got it packaged up for specific... Amp kits, sub we kits. Do. We have complete kits and everything to go. So I guess the lesson here is we'd love to sell you kicker wire, and we make fantastic wire. Like I said, we even tin plate it so it's better for corrosion resistance. But the bottom line is buy 100% copper and make sure it's true gauge. All right, Kip. Now we're going to get to a product that's near and dear to my heart because I really like this, this product line. You're a marine guy. I'm a marine you? guy. I really like the marine products. So do I. You know, marine is probably our fastest growing category it right is. nowadays. It we, is. Uh, we have sold a lot of marine in the last couple of years, and it keeps growing. Partially because we've come out with not just great sounding marine speakers, but great looking. Correct. I mean, uh, lighting has become a high end feature that people demand in their boats today, especially in the saltwater environment. They want those lit speakers. They do a lot of nighttime fishing, nighttime activities out there, and they love having this lit speaker. And uh, well, we had a meeting with some guys today, and one of them actually told me, he says, straight up, he says, of all the speakers out there that do lighting, he says, yours is the classiest looking one today. Well, it, it, it fills the cone. The light really does fill the whole cone. It fills the whole cone. It looks fantastic. So we do these in a six and a half and an eight inch. Uh, obviously, we do them in cans. You can put them up on your tower if you'd like to do that. And then, of course, the amplifiers. Now, little thing here, these are actually the brand new amplifiers. Yes, they are. They're getting a treat today, Kip. They're getting a treat today. These are not available in your retailers yet. If you haven't watched any of the Kip and Dave show from Miami, you got a little exposure to some of them then. But we've got them on display here in our XRV, and these will be coming April, soon. May, we hope. Very soon. We hope. Very soon. But these are the new models. The cool part about the new models on the base side is they come with that Bluetooth controller, so you can adjust the game, the that's shockwave, right. all of it wirelessly. So these are the new amplifiers, and of course, the LED lighting carries all the way down into the KMC-10 which is our marine subwoofer. And basically this is a subwoofer that's designed off of our original comp driver, but this has been turned into a product truly made for marine. It's a full poly basket, 
uh, sealed motor structure, covers for the terminals so you don't have to worry about water intruding in there or corroding up things. It's really a driver made to work in a marine environment. All right. Whether it's salt water or fresh water. And then, Kip, another area that, that's growing tremendously is our power sports. Power sports, another it's growing. I mean, uh, motorcycles, UTVs, ATVs, lawnmowers. I mean, uh, yeah. I have to confess, we have a system on our lawnmower we, here. We do have a lot. We do. It's pretty crazy, but we do a whole line of power sports speakers. The cool thing about the power sports speakers, what they've been designed for, is because you're usually in an open air environment, you don't have a roof or something containing the sound, these have a very flat response out to 20K so that they'll overcome the road noise that you're dealing with in that type of environment. They also use neodymium magnet structures, so they're very light. Uh, so like if you go onto a handlebar of a Harley, the last thing you need is a pound and a half speaker hanging sure. on the handlebar. Man, it just totally destroys the performance of your bike. So when you get into these, you're looking at a speaker that's very lightweight, high performance, water resistant. Uh, as you can see, I'll put my finger through here. It's a, it's a sealed cone, so you don't have to worry about water getting behind there. The tweeter's actually suspended on a bridge. These are designed to work in the power sports and environment. Two weeks ago, me and John covered quite a bit of these power sports. So this, kind of a, this is kind of a recap. Kind of a recap. And you can see, here's the amplifiers back on display. I mean, this little puppy right here, I mean, look at my hand, Dave. Look at that. This amplifier, that is a 300-watt four-channel amplifier in a package that's about the size of my hand. That's true. It's very, very small. Where's the sub-amp, Kip? The sub-amp fire? Well, it depends. We've got two different models. Okay. We've got this one right here. This is the little 200-watt sub-amplifier right here. So and that's, that's the size of a wallet. That's the size of my wallet. That'll do 200 watts into a half-ohm load. Mm -hmm. And then if you come over here to the PX right here, this is the 501. Now, it's a little bigger than my hand, but not much. But that's a 500-watt base monoblock amplifier. Look at that. Kip, explain really fast. How, do, how can they get this technology in such a small amp? Well, it's magic. It's okay. magic, Dave. <laughs> okay, besides magic, Kip, can we be a little more specific? <laughs> we actually can. It's kind of, you can't talk about the entire line. It's actually kind of, there's two different things going on here. Sure. But basically, if you look at these three amplifiers, these use what we call direct connect technology, meaning they work off whatever available power supply there is. Now, whether you're using a bike, ATV, UTV, a lot of those don't have big batteries. A lot of them don't have big charging systems. You know, a lot of them run off what's called a statter charging system. So if you're familiar with your lawnmower, your garden tractor, a lot of those use like a 10 to 15 amp max charging system. Mm -hmm. So these are designed to float safely on whatever power your vehicle can provide. So if you've got the current to provide, this little puppy here will give you 200 watts on base, no problem. But if you're bike, ATV, UTV, mm -hmm. lawnmower, whatever it is, can't provide the current, this amp will just roll back its power output and safely live on that electrical system so you can get the power you want all day long. And they tuck away almost anywhere. Tuck away almost anywhere. Now when you get up to these two amplifiers, even though they're part of the Power Sports line, these two actually are very, very, very efficient uh, Class D based amplifiers. They just pack a ton of power into a small chassis. Uh, the cool thing about these, if you ever get a chance to see one of these operation, these amps will actually run hotter sitting still. Otherwise not even, if you just turn them on and sit there, they yeah, actually run tighter than if you're running full signal through them. And it's part of the design. So they're actually, the hottest they're ever going to get is when they're sitting there doing nothing. Idle. Mm -hmm. Beat on them, bang on them, they actually okay. run a slightly cooler. What about the subs down here? Good to go? The subs down here, good to go. Basically on the RT 10 series, we do these. They're shallower design, dual voice coil, dual 1 ohm and dual 2 ohm, so that way you can get the power you need out of the amplifier. So for example, if you're running a single 10, you could get the dual 1 ohm version, Paralleled up for half an ohm. You throw it on this puppy over here, and now you got 200 watts into a 10 inch stuff. All right. So that's the power sports. Now power we're going to get to another category that's kind of a, a growing category for us. This is a growing category for us, and this is what I kind of say. You know, a lot of people ask this all the time, Dave. They know, man, I've got a factory system. I, I don't want 215s and 10,000 watts in my car, but factory kind of sounds bad. So yes. what do I do? Well, this is a solution that we do on select vehicles, and if you happen to have one that fits this, we're never going to do them all, Dave. We pick the ones that no. make sense. But these are what we call our plug-and-play VSS systems. And basically, it's a molded enclosure designed to fit into the vehicle, whether it's behind the seat, whether it's under a seat, uh, behind uh, an anchor point on, say, a folding back seat, wherever that may be. The subwoofer mounts into the vehicle. Some of them, it tucks into a space, like in the rear quarter panel, you don't even think of any room. And then... It's a base amplifier. This is a 200 watt BTL monoblock amplifier. This is a 200 watt four channel Class D amplifier. Now, those are specifically tuned for each vehicle, correct? That's the cool part is that this amplifier, if you look at the harness here, Dave, follow the harness here with my finger. Bring it up here. Each of these are designed to plug right into the factory system. No cutting, no splicing, nothing like that. So you literally unplug your factory radio, plug in the T harness, 
our amplifier intercepts the signal, and inside of here we have a full DSP, so we can tweak, tune, EQ, we can set the levels, we can do time alignment, we can do. Okay, anything. I know, I know a burning question right now that, that they're going to probably want to know. What's that? Does this hamper or void any of the warranty for that vehicle? Not only does it not hamper, but if you get it straight from the factory, it comes with the same warranty. See, there you go. Because we work really close with the engineers from all the. We work really close with the. Uh, without trying to name drop, we work with a no, lot of the big lot. manufacturers. Yeah, yeah, we won't. We won't name drop. Well, as you can see, that's this is kind of a rolling display board that we put in here about two years ago now. About two years. You know, we change the product up as we get new product, but we put this about two years ago, and it's really a cool way for you to be able to come in while we're on the road at big events, and you can kind of see the different products that we make, the different categories. Uh, obviously, we can talk to you about any of it. We can get a catalog out and the stuff that's not on display. We can show you what may or may not be what you need for your specific application. But this gives you a chance to get hands-on and actually see the product. All right, Kim. Now we're going to go to the icing on top of the cake. Are you looking forward? I'm looking forward. Right. They haven't seen it yet, but we are going into what we call the boom room. This is the boom room. And you're obviously going to see why in just a minute. All right. I'll let you guys do the math. All right. Let's, uh, real quick. He doesn't want to be on film, but let's put him on it. Anyway. All right, let's do it. All right, All right hold here on. we go. This gentleman, this right here is the driver, the extraordinaire, puts this rig in places that not even an uh, uh, experienced driver does. Hey, How's that for a plug? He's an experienced. You know, with Jeremy, it's always a win-win. It's a win-win. And he built, he got in here and helped build these displays. Yeah. He keeps hey. this rig going. And he did not want to be on camera, so guess what, Jeremy? You're on camera, camera, buddy. Thanks, Dave. So welcome to the Kip and Dave Show. You know, we think you got what it takes to actually take over. So Yeah, oh, you're yeah. going to be next in line to take this over, bud. I don't know about all that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Jeremy has been with us, is it, is it two years now? Not quite. A year and a half. year and a half. Yep. And prior to that, he uh, worked for a company that did... Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Yeah. So he worked for Coca-Cola. There's a plug. There's hey, a, there's a they, plug owe us, they owe us money, Kip. Hey, ching. Roll that bean <laughs> counter. <laughs> But seriously, you know, I remember when Jeremy came up for his interview, and uh, he did a fantastic interview job. Uh, I think if you had to go back and say it, he was probably a little bit nervous, but we didn't know it. Hey, hey Kip, 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 he, got, he has to work for me, and i got to manage him, so let's not give too many comments. Hey, if he can still get through the door, we know he has about all two right, days. All right, all right. But, but in all seriousness, Jeremy does handle uh, transporting this rig from point A to point B all across the United States. He's in charge of maintenance. He's in charge of keeping the, the display we just saw downstairs. He's in charge of making sure that's up to speed. And he's also in charge of this wall of boom that's behind us, which we're going to ask you a few questions on that if that's okay. Sure. So what do we have behind here? All right. We have uh, 12 15-inch L7Q class woofers. That's, um, that's an impressive-looking wall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 20,000 watts all together. There's 16,000 watts on the subwoofers, 4,000 watts on the mids and highs. Wow, that's that's a quite a bit of power. Now, I see there's a rack over there. I guess that's where all the stuff is that drives this. Yes, sir. Let's get a picture of that, Dave. You can see there are some power conditioning, some mixing controls, all your different sources. There's a crossover EQ and then a boatload of amplifiers. So this entire boom room, now, I can't pretend like I don't know anything about it, but obviously we take this on the road and it's a way we can get six to ten people in here and give them kind of an experience of a really high performance audio system in a room like this. Yep. So, how, I mean, it's really hard, I mean, this is Facebook Live Day, I mean, if you try to play a booming system across this all, it sounds like it's blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It sounds horrible. Well, what I'm going to do, I think, Kip, is I'm going to step on the other side of the glass. Okay. Because the vibration will be a little bit less, and I'm going to focus on this bottle of water we're going to put in the middle of the floor. That's a great idea. And yeah. and we're going to be able to show by that bottle of water just how much violent activity is going on in here. Let's do that. Let's. Uh, okay. So now wait before we do this, I'm assuming you use hearing protection. Agent. Yes, sir. All right. Always. So, so can we talk into throwing some ears on and showing us the dance in water? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I'm, well, you know what? I'm going to go out where it's more protected. Let's I'm, go. I'm getting old. Here, Kip. We're going to so actually, actually going to be safe, and he's going to okay. be in there with the hearing protection. So again, this is uh, 12 of the Q-Class L715s in what we call the boom room. And those of you who have seen the museum tour, you know that we actually have a much bigger version of this inside the facility here up in the museum where we actually have 16 of them. 
but this allows us to take it on the road and uh, give people a demo of what the product's capable of. It's going to take them just a minute to fire up all those amps, so just bear with us just for a second. We are going to test your ability to digest what you hear in yet another way. How low can you go? Can tell by that bottle, it's sliding in there. It's you know, let, let's, find, let's find out how who out in Facebook land has a sense of humor. Okay, let's let's talk about this. Right, yeah, we're, we're back right. here. So, so are, you, are you ready for this? I'm ready. I love a good meme. Do you like a good meme? Yeah. It's obviously the kicker has 40 hertz. <laughs> yeah, we do have 40 hertz because that one that didn't stand a chance no, in there. It and, didn't stand a chance in there. It is. It's super hard to show you guys while we're filming live. I mean, I'm sure you heard some obnoxious loud noise, but hopefully that bottle kind of showed you what goes on in this room. So You know, it's real hard to, to see how the questions come in with you, but I just call one of the guys says, what amps are you using in there? So I'll answer that real quick. You know, it, we just can't, in an environment like this, with that much power in a demo, we can't use car amps. There's not no, a battery, no, it can't no, run an alternator, no. it just doesn't work. So what we do use is QSC is a brand, and yes. they make pro sound make amplifiers, a really good brand. make really good amps. And so we use QSC in the, uh, amplifiers to run that entire room in there. And, it, and ironically, the base amplifiers actually run off of 240 volts. Yes. So the big generator we've got on board here, we actually tap it to 240 volts to run the big amps that are running those subs in there. So it it produces yeah. some sound. As you can see from the dancing water bottle, yeah. uh, it, it definitely will move and So it. So to recap, we got this, this little toy that we haul around the United States. It's like 88 foot long. It's a rolling billboard. It has all of our interactive displays in here so you can see all of our product. Yes, yeah, so you check it and out. And then if they don't believe us, they want to hear it, we can stick them in the boom room. Shake them around a little bit. Shake them around a little bit. And Shake if, and bake, baby. And for us that ride the rig, we are, we're kind of spoiled. We've got a large TV with surround sound and a refrigerator and all the little things that we need to kind of get down the road. That's right. The only thing we don't have, though, Kit, is a bathroom. We used to have a bathroom. We used to have one. So but now we, we pulled that pig out. Yeah, but what you do is you make the driver drink lots of energy drinks, and then he's got to pull over. As long See, as he's I got to stop, that. I learned you that. all get to stop. Yeah, but, but you know, you're right, Dan. What's really cool about this is it allows us to get on the road at these events, and you can come on board. You can see a, a taste of all the different products. I mean, because mm -hmm. we don't make just car product. I mean, we make product for car. We make product for home, personal, marine, marine power sports. I mean, Kicker is a brand. We make fantastic sounding products that will fit any of your lifestyle that you're going for, whether you're doing it outside in the marine, you know, you're kicking up some mud, yep. out in your car. We've got it. And as always, we want to invite you to come by. If you're in, in Stillwater, Oklahoma, come by and see us at the visit, Visitor Center because we'll show you all the cool things that we showed you on, on, on one of our videos earlier. Absolutely. If you guys get a chance, I mean, the Visitor Center, we don't. if, if we have the XRV here out, you can also take a look at yes. this. But it's yes. on the road a lot. But yes. the museum up front is always available, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Stop in, take a look. If you think this wall of boom is impressive, the one inside has got four more subs, yep. more power, and even bigger boxes. So yes. it even hits harder than this. Well, Kip, as much as I hate to do this, we better wrap this up. You know what? We're going to wrap it up, but let's let's drop a hint out there. Okay. You know, you've kind of seen from the marketing side how you can see the product. You definitely got an impressive taste of the wall of boom. I think in the future we're going to find a way. We have to be careful because some things we can't show, but... I think we're going to take a visit through R&D and show them how we actually design this product because we do it right here can in we, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Can we do that? We can't. You know what? It's the Kip and Dave show. <laughs> All right. We're we can gonna, do it. We're going to figure a way to get you guys behind the scenes even deeper in, in hey, Kicker hey, headquarters. Look at there. i got to call that. Look, this guy's watching from Kenya. Kenya. No kidding. <laughs> Dude, it's... Hey, Elvis... Watindi? Did I get that right? Uh, you Watindi? probably killed Watindi. his name, ah, but that's hey, all right. We love you. Hey, with a name like Elvis, at least I got that part right. But he's <laughs> watching from Kenya. That's no awesome. Kidding. That's awesome. But, you know, we, uh, Dave and I love doing this. If you guys have anything you'd like to see here at the factory or a product walkthrough on something specific, hit us up on Facebook. Our guy will get a list. We'll do stuff like that. But seriously, 
I think we're going to work into the schedule. We're going to show them where we actually designed this product right here in Stillwater. I think that'd be cool. I think we should do that. We're going to do it. All right. So until then, I guess the best thing to say is this is Dave. And Kip. And thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next week. Later.